Hi everybody, I'm Chris Gavin, Principal of St. Pat's. And we'd like to welcome you to the school and take a virtual tour. It gives you an opportunity as parents to do the, one of the most important things you can as parents, is to decide where to send your children to school. Once we have the opportunity to go inside, I think you'll, you'll be captured by our academics and the things that we do formationally for kids. You'll have an opportunity to see some classrooms and maybe meet some teachers and especially see the kids who are inside. So it's different, we have to mask up, but why don't we mask up and go inside? So come on in, let's go take a look. 127 years ago, the Dominican Sisters of Tacoma began a legacy of faith and learning at St. Patrick Catholic School. And that proud tradition continues today. At St. Pat's, we nurture our students in an abiding Catholic faith while pursuing academic excellence and modeling honesty, respect, and service as dynamic members of our world community. Our well-rounded curriculum meets or exceeds state and national standards to maintain our excellent accreditation status. St. Patrick Catholic School is accredited through the Washington Catholic Education Association Elementary School Commission, the State of Washington, and the Northwest Association of Accredited Schools. We serve 400 students in preschool through eighth grade. Our teachers build dynamic lessons to create a highly immersive learning experience that leads to student innovation and collaboration. Preschool, primary, intermediate, and middle school divisions work together to create grade level goals and instructional practices that encourage, engage, and inspire students. The lower level of our school is home to our pre-K and kindergarten classrooms gymnasium, and a small outdoor play area. The pre-K program is designed to provide activities to foster independence and the social, emotional, spiritual, physical, and intellectual growth of every student. The gym is a hub of activity for our community. When there's not a physical education class happening or lunch is being served, you'll find school assemblies, dances, celebrations, Catholic youth organization sports, and even school auctions. Our primary division, kindergarten through second grade, care for the whole child in a loving environment where parents can become part of our community. The kindergarten program is a foundation of the total educational program at St. Patrick Catholic School. Teachers focus on students' individual learning styles, made possible with small classes and a child-focused curriculum. The main floor serves first and second grades. You'll also find the library and administrative offices on this level of the school. Our first and second grade students benefit from small classes with individual attention and being held to high expectations. The top floor of St. Pat's serves our intermediate and middle school students in grades three through eight. Outside, you'll find a covered play area, a playground, and a soccer court. Intermediate school teachers, grades three through five, focus on providing every student with a strong academic foundation while also developing each child's unique potential and preparing them for middle school. The middle school division, grades six through eight, develop and nurture the whole person and prepare students for high school using rigorous and relevant courses. Every student at St. Pat's takes a general music class where they learn music from different cultures, styles, and time periods. The art room is where students get creative and learn about drawing, printmaking, ceramics, painting, collage, and fiber arts. Since 1893, kids at St. Patrick Catholic School have gotten a high-quality, faith-filled education. Each year, we build on that foundation to enhance the learning experience. Let's go! Hi! Hey, everybody! Hi, everybody! Hi, everybody! Hi, everybody. This is what it's about. Hopefully, have you have a sense of who we are and why you would want to send your kids here. St. Patrick, pray for us. I've had that for a while, and it's a great place to study, and I like all the specialists. I love how the teachers here are very nice, like they just 
the school feels very welcoming. The students just accept me here and I just feel like I belong here. It's such a warm, friendly, happy place. And we were asked at one point why we wanted to teach here. And I said, because for me, St. Path was always felt like a second home. And that's what I want to build for my class and my students is a second home where they really feel like they're part of a larger family. I think as a teacher and mom, I think that the curriculum here is outstanding. I think the ability to flex and, and challenge our students is just second to none. I also love the tie to our faith and are the experience we can spend in our church together. I appreciate that our school compared to other schools has a lot of different opportunities. Like we have STEM, we have a lot of different extracurricular stuff after school. Uh, we have choir, we have robotics. What I really love about St. Patrick's School is the sense of community that you feel every time you step into the doors. You come here, you know the parents, you know the students, and you know the teachers, and you know the genuine care that they have for one another. When I walk into the school, I feel included. I feel like I'm part of, part of the community. I've been in the United States for 14 years, and I never felt somewhere when you go open the door and feel like, oh, I'm home. And that means to me a lot. It means a lot to my children. It means a lot to my wife. So I can find a place that I can call it home.
Welcome, everybody. We're just about 15 minutes away from our show. This is the 2021 Reach Auction. Our theme this year is Everyday Heroes, and we're going to have ourselves a great time. Remember, by the end of the event tonight, our Almost Live, our Live, and our class projects are all going to close. But our fun and, need, our fun and item is going to stay open all night. Of course, you can bid right now on all of our items, and if you set a max bid, then the computer will do the bidding for you, and you don't have to worry about watching those items. You can just sit back and relax our amazing show. We're going to have a chat room going, too. Go ahead and text to us, and we'll see those chats, and we'll talk about it. And that's going to be Sandra. We're going to talk back and forth with you on that. And then send your selfies to Sandra at 917-686-7408. And Sandra will get those to us, and we might be able to get some of those on the screen for you so we can see the photos of everybody at home. We want to see how much fun you're having. And, of course... If you're watching the show, you've probably already figured out how to get the video working. But if you have any other questions, give Winter a call at 253-274-4127. And we're on social media. We've moved into the future. So you can tag us at St. Pat's Tacoma or hashtag Reach 2021. We've got a great show coming up for you, and we look forward to seeing you soon.
I'm Father David Mulholland. I'm the pastor of St. Patrick Parish and School. And I want to welcome you to the 46th annual REACH auction. Before we begin this evening's festivities, I want to take a moment to reflect upon the life and light of one of our dear students. As many of you know, Brecken was a student at St. Patrick's School who passed away in January after a skiing accident. The Boyce family, Brian, Angie, and little brother Torin, would like to thank everyone who reached out to support them in their time of need. Brian and Angie have an extended circle of friends and family, including St. Patrick's, Lowell Elementary, the City of Tacoma, the University of Washington School of Law, the clients of their law practice, and so many more. They are humbled by your generosity, grateful for your outreach, lifted up by your prayers, and touched by all the efforts to walk with them through these difficult days. They recognize that we are one community, one body of Christ, and we grieve with them for the loss of Brecken. So I now invite you to join them for a moment of silence and prayer. Father, as you now eternally embrace your beloved son, Brecken, we thank you for the blessing of his life. We ask that you continue to embrace in love and care his family and friends and classmates. Help his family to experience your abiding presence for their healing and the assurance of your peace and consolation, especially when they need it the most. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, everyone. And now, please enjoy this evening's festivities at the REACH auction. Whether you are in a safe, small little gathering, or if you're at home on the couch with a big bowl of popcorn, know that you are our everyday heroes that we look to. And so bid high, bid often, and go Shamrocks. Let me take off my superhero uh, mask and welcome you to our 46th annual REACH auction, Everyday Superheroes. We are supporting our education and our formation programs tonight, but we're also celebrating the everyday heroes in our school. It starts with our students and their parents, who through this pandemic time have just been heroes, have been heroic in making sure that their kids are safe and their kids are educated and cared for. And then we go to the next superheroes, our teachers and staff, who every day just have reached out and cared for our kids. Thank you to our sponsors for tonight's auction. And then to our Wonder Women, our two chairs, Susan and Sherry, thank you so much. Tonight we have a lot to do. We have a lot to accomplish. So thank you for being here. Thank you for bidding high and bidding often and making this just a great celebration of St. Patrick Catholic School. Hello everyone and welcome to the 46th annual REACH auction. I'm Susan Cratley and this is my dear friend Cherie Paulette and we are so excited to be your co-chairs this year. This year our theme is Everyday Heroes. We know how difficult this year has been. As educators ourselves, we want to honor all the everyday heroes in our community. At St. Patrick's School, modeling honesty, respect, and service has nurtured in our children a belief and trust in Jesus Christ, the unconditional love of oneself and one's neighbor. Our families have been blessed to be a part of this loving community for over a decade, and when asked to chair the auction this year, we said yes. Yes and thanksgiving for the everyday heroes who have shaped our children and continued to love and care for them with positivity and creativity through this pandemic. We see everyday heroes everywhere. Our pastor, our principal, our parents, teachers, students, staff, parishioners, 
community volunteers, small business owners, first responders, and so many more. We honor all who have given of themselves. We say yes to recognizing you. Yes to the fundraising goal, the building project, the online auction platform, and all the obstacles before us. We have pivoted, shifted, and reworked this event to be fun-filled and full of joy. COVID-19 has not dampened our spirits, but rather emboldened our commitment. St. Patrick's School has made heroic efforts to respond to this crisis and meet the academic and spiritual needs of our students. Yes to asking for your help. We cannot do this alone. Your support allows us to offer an affordable Catholic-based education for all who seek one. Our fundraising goal this evening is $350,000. This is a tall order, and we are grateful to our sponsors, donors, volunteers, faculty, and staff who have helped us get to this evening. St. Patrick Catholic School has a tradition of shaping everyday heroes. Today's students are tomorrow's leaders. Join us in this valiant effort to shape the future of our community, one student, one hero at a time. St. Patrick, pray for us. 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 St. Pat, pray for us. Welcome everybody to our Everyday Heroes Auction for St. Patrick's School. I'm your auctioneer and event host, Austin Sheely. And that was an amazing message from Principal Gavin and our auction co-chairs, Susan Cratley, and of course, uh, Cherie Pillay. And of course, their husbands, Darren and Patrick. Darren, Patrick. And speaking of Patrick, he's gonna be back as our item reader this year. Come on up, Patrick. Thank you, Austin. By the way, you look incredible. Oh, no, 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 no. You look incredible. We Impactful look incredible together. Yeah. We do. <laughs> so tell me, Patrick, why does St. Patrick's School hold such a special place in your heart? Well, we're live filming, and, and, and Chris just walked in. I, I, I had a great thing. So, you know, that's one of the gifts. So it holds a place in my heart. Um, you, know, you know, we came to, we looked for a Catholic education for our kids, and we came to St. Pat's. We're close, but it's about community. And, you know, there's fellowship, we take action, we have integrity, we have trust, and we have hope. And that's, what we have is faith. And we, we've put our faith in the school, with our faith in the community, and our, and our faith in, in Chris Gavin. And it's really been a place where not only our kids are educated well, but our kids build community well. Thank you, Patrick, that's amazing. We've got an amazing show coming up for you, but before we get into that, let's get back into our housekeeping just a little bit. We have uh, our Almost Live, our Live, and our class projects are all closing at the end of the show tonight. That's gonna be about eight o'clock, but of course, our funding item is gonna be open all night long, all tomorrow, and really, it's never closing, so there's never a bad time to donate. If you're watching the show right now, you've probably already figured out how to get the show working on your computer or on your screen, your tablet, or wherever you're watching it from. But if you have any technical questions, give Winter a call at 253-274-4127. Or you can text Sandra your selfies at 917-686-7408. And we're going to try to get some of those on the show so we can see what you guys are doing at home. Let's see those selfies. Let's see those chats. We've got the chat going here. Catherine Hendricks saying, you go, Pat. You're rocking that thank awesome you, outfit. Thank you. I need that encouragement. This is, Something I tells me he doesn't. I need all of you. <laughs> and, of course, we're on social media. We are hip to the groove. We are up with the young cats. <laughs> so on social media, you can tag us at St. Pat's Tacoma or hashtag Reach 2021. Woo. Do you know what a hashtag is? You mean the pound sign? Yeah. That's not me. I'm not a hashtagger. I'm told it means something good, so <laughs> let's do that. Here we go. Our first evening event of the night, we're going to have our raffle. Here we go. Woo! All right. Oh, we're excited about this. i got to get my safety COVID here. we gotta, we got to wipe this down. Lovely. All right. Who's excited for uh, some tuition? Yes. All right. Our first 
uh, raffle that we're going to do is our gold raffle. I know lots of you have put that in there. Drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. This is for 3000 in tuition uh, or $1,500 in cash. And the lucky winner is... Uh, the Wolf family, Pilly and Terry Wolf. Congratulations, wonderful. All right, our next one is the silver ticket, and oh, this is $1,500 in tuition or $750 in cash. And our winner is, let's see, congratulations to Christopher Kintz. All right, oh, very nice. Well, congratulations. And finally, our last one is the bronze uh, raffle, and this is for $500 in tuition or $250 in cash. I've got my fingers crossed Woo! for you, Pat. My thumbs are crossed. All right. Oh, this is fantastic. This is for Winter and Jamie Woo! Date. Wow. Well, congratulations to our winners. Wonderful. Congratulations. And here we go. There you go. Thank you. Of course, we're taking all our proper COVID precautions. And I see in the chat somebody mentioned they're looking for the selfie number again. Get your phone out. I'm going to give you just a second because we're about to read that. Here we go. You ready? Oh, it's in the chat already, but I'm going to read it too just in case they don't see it. It's 917-686-7408. Here we go. Oh, and Catherine says hi. Bradley's. Catherine says hi to you guys. Hendricks love you. Nice. Now, like I said, we've got so many amazing things coming up for you, including our live auction at the end. But first, we're going to start talking about our sponsors, without which we would not be here tonight. Thanks. I can't speak for yourself. I would probably be running around in, in the suit anyway, <laughs> but I wouldn't be here doing it with you guys. That's the important part. I'm glad you're with fun. us, Austin. <laughs> so our first, here we go, our title sponsor. Our title Blarney sponsor, thank you, Jocelyn Stewart, Stewart, attorney at law. New 2021 sponsor, thank you so much. Court martial defense attorney, amazing mom, mother of four, St. Pat Shamrocks. Thank you, Jocelyn. And our first Shamrock sponsor tonight, we're going to give a big thank you out to the Eisenhower Carlson PLLC. They're a legacy sponsor, which means they've done this before. They're a continuing sponsor for us. And did you know Darren Cratley works for them? Works with them. Thank, thank you, Darren. Thank you, Darren. Thank you. All right, our Shamrock sponsor. Thank you, Relevant Concepts and Marketing Group. Kyle, Kyle... Kyle and Allison, thank you. Kyle and Allison, yeah. thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> My heart goes out. And, of course, we're sending them our prayers. Yes, thank you. Bringing me back full circle, we are sending you prayers. You know, we're, uh, we know Tessa has undergone a successful surgery, and she's recovering at home, and anyone who's had a little one in the hospital knows. So we love you, and we can bid on things together. Absolutely. We heard it was successful, and congratulations, you guys, and we're all, we have our thoughts with you. And now we're on to our platinum sponsors. Thank you all to AHBL. Conley Law Offices. Forma Construction. Woo. Morgan & Kuntz PLLC. Neil Walter Company. Sprague Pest Solutions. Summit Veterinary Referral. Tacoma Subaru and Bruce Tadius Automotive Group. Thank you, Bruce. The Cloverleaf. Gallucci's Catering and the Spar. And to all of our sponsors tonight, thank you. We thank you. Without you, we would not be able to put on such a successful event. Absolutely. And speaking of money and successful events, now we're going to get into talking about the money. It's time to start talking about our funding item, which is the big capital improvement project we got going on. We're kicking off the next phase of that. And here is Principal Gavin to tell you all about it. It is the most important project that St. Pat's will undertake in, in many years. So 
we've been working on this project for over five years now with what started with an urgent need for repairs to the roof turned into a commitment for the longevity of the school, uh, rehabbing all of our facilities and allowing the school to operate for another 40 years in the future. We're renovating the administrative portions of the building along with all the classrooms on the second floor and adding additional classrooms on the second floor to allow for additional elective courses for our students. We're going to start obviously with uh, addressing the concerns that we have about safety and all the remediations there for asbestos abatement in our floors, ceilings, and insulation. And then we'll move into refreshing the space, making it just a lovely space for kids and teachers to come to school. Um, we also want to address the office suite and make sure that all of our administrative staff are cohesive and brought together in one space, which we haven't been able to do before. I just can't wait to see what the doors look like um, when we come into this first level and uh, really welcome new families and existing families in that space. The goal is $4.5 million over uh, four phases. And tonight, our funding item at $80,000 will help support and propel us into phase two, three, and four. Unfortunately, we weren't able to start the fundraising immediately, but we're moving into the capital campaign. Even without that capital campaign, we've raised $800,000, but this is the start of the next phase of working towards that full commitment to the school. We're looking to raise $80,000 this year, marching on towards that goal of 4.5 million. So we're ready to move into this phase two with real excitement this summer. And again, the donations and the pledges tonight will allow us to do that financially, securely, and confidently that we are ready as a community to move into three and four in the ensuing summers. Okay, fellow families, we know this is a big lift for our school, but this is a big project and we are so excited about it. We know that we can do it. We're passionate about raising this money and completing the project to the best of our ability. We ask for your early push and for your multi-year commitment to this program for both our students now and our students in the future. We have teachers that are teaching in classrooms that they learned in 30 years ago, and we hope that their children will be teaching in those same classes 30 years from now. Thank you for your generous donations, and go Shamrocks. Please raise your paddle. Raise your paddle as the, at the level that you feel comfortable, but that is a stretch because we all are stretching for the kids. We're stretching to make this building, this 65-year-old building, safer, more modern, and more wonderful for the education and the formation we want to provide for our kids. So thank you. Raise your paddle. All right, we're back. And in case you were wondering if this is a live program or not, we were shooting some B-roll for you. Hey, we hope all of you are taking selfies, having a good time just like we are. We miss you, but we're having a good time. We hope you're all having a good time. Absolutely. 
And of course, we're going to have the we're we're shooting all that B roll for a Netflix documentary. We're going to have out on the making of this production later in the year. It's a prestige piece. It's going to be amazing. You can bid on it at next year's auction because apparently Kathy Forte is already planning auction bids. It looks like she may be the next chair. Oh yeah, she's tearing people up in there. She's ready to go. And of course, we're talking about our funding item right now. The total cost project cost is four point five million dollars. And it's a five-year project. It got delayed a little bit because of COVID. But, I mean, tell me what this has meant for you guys at the school. You know, this has been an opportunity to take our school to a level where our kids deserve. You know, we started with Chris's entry as principal and with his guard and all the teachers that have kind of joined in to make this happen, all the project has beautified the school, the, the, the new carpets, the new lighting. It's amazing. And I can't wait to see how the next phase unfolds. It's really going to be amazing. And we're here tonight to raise money. We'd love to get that full, full $4.5 million tonight. Come on! But we're shooting for $80,000. And to make it even easier for you, every single staff member and faculty member chipped in for $10,000 to lead us off. Woo! Thank you. Thank you so much. Not only is that a commitment to the school, it's a commitment to our kids. Thank you so much. That is amazing. And we're going to start off for everybody at home. It's going to be our $50,000 level. And $50,000 is going to re uh, remediate one classroom of asbestos. If somebody can kick in $50,000 right now, stuff, we're going to be almost to our goal. It is not. Do not play in it. No. No. Don't make a movie and put snow in it. No. No. And so everyone knows, it is all safely ensconced in the building where it's not a problem, but we want to get it out of here so that we don't have to worry about it in the future, taking care of our people. One check, 50000 you take care of it for us. And we've got a few donations coming in. We're already up to $15,700. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. And if you, mention, if you put your bid in right now, we will see it on the screen, and we will call you out on air. So put that bid in at $50,000. Let's see if we can get anybody on there at $50,000. Come on, put as your name, you'll be on time. live yes, TV. It does. I will read your name on live TV. <laughs> While we're waiting for that $50,000 donation, we're going to move on to our next level, which is $25,000. Woo! And that is to improve the air quality in the classroom. That's going to clean up one classroom. And that's for your HVAC systems, cleaning all that stuff out, cleaning the ducts. It's going to be removing the, the uh, pork and beans and the uh, chili from the cafeteria menu. Much needed. Air much quality. Needed. Healthy, happy kids. Absolutely. Get those donations in. We're watching our screen right now. We've got donations from the faculty and staff. We've got Teresa Harris has made a donation. Doreen Gavin has made a Thank donation. You, Thank you, everybody. And there's one that just came in. Brandy Lindstrom at $2,500. Thank you, Thank Brandy. Thank you, Brandy. Thank you. Donna Knutson, thank you. Julia Lucas, thank you. And our next level here is going to be at $10,000, and that's to install new lighting in a classroom. So make that donation at $10,000. When I went up yesterday, when Darren took us for a tour, you know, I, I'd seen the upstairs, but it's one of those things. You notice something, it's different, but what was your thoughts? It was just so amazing to see the difference between the, the first floor and, and the third floor. And I couldn't at first, if you hadn't told me about the lighting, I wouldn't have been able to pinpoint this is what changed. Yeah. But it was so amazing to the difference because to, to, you didn't really, like, you can't see exactly what it is that changed, but you know it's changed. And you know it's so much brighter and it's so much more exciting. And they have studies that prove that good lighting makes people's moods better. It makes them more productive. It makes them healthier. And so having the new lighting in the school is going to make a huge difference for everybody. Woo! You know, Austin, I'd have to say it, it's incredible. It is incredible. <laughs> and, oh, who have $25,000? Oh, we're hoping somebody does. But we have somebody at $10,000. This is Jamie Harmon. Jamie, thank, thank you. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. That is amazing. Thank you. Keep those bids coming in. We're watching that screen. Put them up. And here we go. Our next level is going to be $5,000, and that provides new tiling or carpet in a classroom. Yeah, amazing design on the top floor. The carpets, the sound deadening. You walk in, and even I was ready to learn. I mean, it was beautiful, well lit. It was gorgeous. 
And if you don't have five thousand dollars, rip the carpet out of your house, bring it in. We'll make it work. We'll We're taking together. whatever That's we can get from you guys. Help together. us out here. I'm looking again. We were still waiting for more donations to come in. We're going to move on to our next level, which is $2,500, $2,500. And this puts up blinds in the classrooms. You know, one of the later phases is going to be windows. But anyone who's been on the beautiful view side of the school knows how important blinds will be. It gets hot in there. This is it, you know? We need to regulate that. HVAC blinds, it's going to help. $2,500, come on. And there it is, Susan Craig. Hey! Thank you, Susan. I talked you into it, didn't I? <laughs> yeah! I appreciate you. Yeah. You, you know farewell how hot it gets, yes. <laughs> Woo! You can go again. Feel free to Who's go again at the next that? level, too. And our next level is going to be $1,000, and this is for new tech for the administrative staff and the people in the offices. Woo! They're finally going to retire that old dot matrix printer. Well, the, I think we were talking about the abacus. It, it just needs to go. Absolutely. Send it to the museum where it belongs. That's right. Here we go. Oh, and there we go. Chris Bush. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. We've got Allison Deskins, Chris Bush. And who's that top person Angela there? Angela Trey uh, Lori Pearson. Thank you ah, so thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The staff are going to enjoy their new equipment. And our next level is going to be $500. Kick in right now $500, and you're going to be buying the faculty and staff, one person, a desk, and a chair. Woo! Those poor folks have been standing all this time. For just $1.25 a day, you too can save a staff member from chronic standing. Thank you, Cranix. Thank you, Lopats. Here we go. Our next level is going to be our $250 level. And this is for purchasing student desks and chairs. One student chair and one student desk. You know, do the, do the kids are, really need chairs, though? Well, they're nice to hide under. That is true. You know, it's a safety thing. Susan and would know all about that. Absolutely. And they're half the price of the adult desk and chairs. And so my question is, is the desk half the size, or are you only getting half the desk? Well, why don't you bid on it, and we'll see. <laughs> Help us out here. Oh, Catherine Hedrick, thank you for your $250 Jamie donation. Singer, Jamie $500, Singer, $500, thank you. $500, that's one staff member who gets to sit down. And I'll tell you what, you make your donation, put it in the chat, and we'll tell you can de decide which staff member gets to sit and which one doesn't if you make your Don, donation at $500. John, you get a ch choice. John Nelson, you get a choice. Nice. Tell who gets to sit, who gets to stand. And, of course, we've got those preset buttons to make it easier for you. But if you want to make a donation at a custom level of your choice, whether it be you want to uh, celebrate your uh, college GPA and donate like $1.60, like me, or the $50,000 level wasn't enough for you and you want to donate $200,000, but you just can't press that button four times, there is a custom donation. Put in whatever amount you want and hit the Enter button, and we'll take that money. Thank you so much. You know, a great custom donation would be, why don't you put in the number of years Chris Gavin has been principal? There you go. How yeah. long has that been? Well, it depends on how you look at it. For me, since I did go to Bellarmine, <laughs> it's been a big chunk of my lifetime, so I'm easily going to double it and put in $14 because it was only seven. But no, it, I, I, I don't know. Who can tell us how many years has that been? That's a good question. Well, let's see if we, somebody pops up in the chat with that lets us know. And while we're waiting on that, I want to let you know, if you'd like to make a multi-year gift, con multi gift, contact our development office at 253-274-4128 or 253-274-4127. You can do that tonight. You can do that tomorrow. You can do that at any time. And, of course, you can email Christy Johnson, our development director. Ooh, thank you, Christy. Yeah. <laughs> She's in the studio with us now, but she will run to your house. If you, you text us right now and say you've got $50 in cash, she will be there in a hot minute to take that money from you. We're here for you. You can email her at cjohnson at stpats.org. Absolutely. 
and she's happy to talk about any other ways you want to give. Like I said, we'll take the carpet. We'll take whatever you want to give to us. And, of course, remember, our live auction, our almost live, and our class projects are closing here at the end of the, the live event. But our fun and eat is staying open as long as it takes. We'll leave that open all night, all weekend, all year. Keep donating, and there's never a good time to stop. Where are we at with our fun and, eat, fun and item right now? Well, it looks like we're, at, we're halfway home. You know, 300 more, 3,000 more dollars, we're halfway right. home. So, you know, I want to uh, appreciate Shannon Nichols, Jessica Fierst, Orst, the Teague's family, Mary, Tom and Mary Larson, Doug Jones, Christina Ross, John Nelson. You know, thank you again. Keep those, keep those amounts coming in. It's really helping everyone. And we're getting into our live event here. And don't forget... That's going to be staying open, but now we're on to our amazing live auction items. And first, it's a little bit different this year. We're not, unfortunately, all in the same ballroom together having fun. But we do have some great items, and we're organizing them a little differently this year. And like I said, at the end of all our live auctions is when we're going to start closing stuff down. But we're grouping them together, and our first set of, set of items is our St. Pat's Classics. But first, Pat, do you want to remind them about the max bid setup? Yeah, so he here's an easy thing to do. And this is what w we've been working with. You know, if you're busy, like hosting an auction, <laughs> you can't really hold your phone. You know, so you set max bid. You go into the item that you desire. You go in and you max, you put in the amount that you'd like to bid up to. And then it automatically goes back and forth. That's an easy way to do it. Absolutely. And of course, if you miss out on one of our live auction items tonight, I see it was uh, Catherine in here was saying she's bidding on one of these amazing live auction items. If you don't get that item, of course, putting that max bid in is the best way to make sure you get it. But if for any reason you don't, hey, turn around and put that into the fun and item. Help the school out. All right, here we go. Well, tell us about our first item. All right. Our first item is the kindergarten quilt. All right, all right. A St. Pat's school tradition in the honor of Mr. Gavin. In his last year, three class teachers got together with their classes and created a one-of-a-kind queen-size quilt right behind me with all the children's handprints, the teacher's handprints, and Mr. Gavin's handprint. <laughs> you know, what a wonderful gift. Thank you, Tiffany Bone, master quilter and St. Pat's treasurer. Thank you very much. This is an amazing quilt and truly incredible, incredible quilt. Our top bid right now is $350 to, and I can't read that name. Who do we got here? We got Gene Noonan. And, and, and let me tell you this. If you have a kindergartner, great. Keep bidding on this. But if you have a pre-K and a kindergartner, bid on this and the tuck-in from Kathy Forte. She already got the blanket. You know, Chris may come over and read a story. If you have a first grader who is friends with a kindergartner or one of your friends who has a kindergartner, Bid on this, buy this item, and then you can wave it in front of them every time they come over. <laughs> Here we go. Another way to Kate, do right it. now, you're our high bidder at $350. Or is that $500? 550. 550. Oh, that's Kate a new Harkins, bid. Kate Harkins, 550. 550. Thank We're you, live Kate on Harkins. air. We're calling this out. 550. Thank you, Kate Harkins. Go one more time. Another $100 is going to be 650 Who's going to be our $650 bidder? If you can do it right now, we'll see it on the air. We'll call it out for you. We're refreshing our screen. Here we go. And we're still Liz at. Oh, oh, I think I saw it. No. Nope. We're oh. at 750. Oh, Two bids came in. It's going forth. hot and fast. Kate Harkins and Liz took it from you, Liz. Don't let that happen. You know, think about this. For the rest of. Oh, all right. Yeah, keep now, going. Now, this is what we're talking about. We're going to love that quilt. I'll tell you what. If you guys can't decide who wants it, well, we don't have two of them, but we can tear it in half and give each of you half. How's that sound? And then you guys could have sleepovers and visit the other half. Exactly. Okay, maybe that's not the best idea. So I guess you're just going to have to keep bidding. We're at yeah, $850 Kate, on that one. Liz has it currently. Liz does have it currently. We're going to, but it doesn't close here until we're done with all the rest of our items. And we're on to our next item right well, now. It's at 8 o'clock. Is that correct? It's going to close at 8 o'clock or when we get there. And we better hurry up or it's going to be midnight. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> item number two, a Michelin star farewell. Six couples, 12 individuals, along with Chris and Doreen Gavin, uh, with Seattle native chef Luke Coplin. Home of Chris, you're at, at, you're at Chris and, they're here, so I'm reading this, and that's just Chris and Doreen at their house, a beautiful view, the expanse. And you're working with the Noma's best chef in the world, or a chef from Noma. Was, 
I think three years in a row nominated the best restaurant in the world. Best restaurant in the world in 2010, 2012, and 20, no, 2010 through 2012 and 2014. Woo! All right, all right. They have tumbled all the way down the rankings to number two this year, though. Oh, well, we'll have to go. We'll, you have to bid on it and taste how good they are. It's going to be amazing. All right. Thank you, Chef Luke Copeland and Chris and Doreen Gavin. And they're here in the studio. They're watching the bidding live here. So I'm looking over at them right now. They're watching people bid on their items. So bid right now and make them happy, folks. Stephanie, you've got the high bid right now at 6550. All right, Kyle, you know the plan, gonna right? Our next going to be at 67.50. There it is right there, Thank Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you. Refresh that again, and we'll see if Stephanie's taking the lead back again. We've got ourselves a horse race. Neck and neck. Neck okay. and neck. Kyle still in the lead. Hold We're going to give him one more chance here for Stephanie to take the peak, or, or Adriel, you bid on this a little while back. See if somebody else can jump into the lead. Kyle still got it. He's going strong, but we still got time. Like I said, we've Remember, got until the end of the live auction for all these items. All right. So item number three, another beautiful opportunity to engage and enjoy dinner at Bolaño's Fiesta. Six couples. That's 12 guests. An evening on Lake Taps, Taps Island. Um, Vice President Barbara Bolaños and husband Ray. You know, dueling paellas, you know? They're going to make you judge them. They're going to make you decide who's got the better one. You They're so good, it's hard. Look at that. An opportunity. Enjoy a little paella. Thank you, Barbara and Ray. There'll be music. It'll be festive. Drinks. You know, the year that uh, a group of friends bid on it, I was sick. I didn't get to go. It was good, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Darren. Thank you, Darren. I appreciate that. Take me along. Come on, bring me along. I'll be your sixth. Our top bidder right now is thirteen fifty, and that is Don Collins Vitale. Oh, Don, nice. Congratulations. I got to tell you, I love Mexican food, but it doesn't always love me back. I know how you feel, but obviously I don't say no. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You look incredible. Oh, Austin. <laughs> Thank you very much. We're not above the cheesy jokes here. All right, item number four, VIP parking. Yes, this year, a little bit different. <clears throat> that wasn't always necessary, but we know that's going to change. And next year, you're going to want the opportunity to park up front, up close. This is a private parking spot at the front of the school, lower entrance. And it's, you know, I've heard it's scientifically proven that getting to school on time makes you a better person and it's better for your re relationship. Absolutely. Thank Those you. few minutes you save in the morning and an evening picking up, that means more time studying, that means getting better grades, that means getting into a better college, that means having a better career. This parking spot is the first step towards ensuring your child's successful life going forward. Austin, I like the way you think. That makes sense to me. Thank you, Principal Gavin and Vice Principal Barbara Bolaños. All right, let's see where the bidding's at. Our top bidder right now is fourteen fifty, and that is Jeff, Jeff Finders. Jeff Flinders, nice. Up front. We've got lots of bidding action on this. Brandy, was it Brady or Brandy was right behind him? Now's your chance. Oh, Brandy. Brandy Lindstrom, you're right behind him. Couple bits above. Come on, make Go it happen. Go one more time. Another two hundred dollars, and you're gonna be our top bidder at sixteen fifty. We're gonna refresh that one more time. See if we get some live bidding action going. Is anybody take Brandy's place or Jeff's place? No, Jeff is still on top. But like I said, it's still open for a little while longer. We've got some more items to get through. Item number five: the VIP treatment at Reach. You. And nine friends, that's 10 people, premium seating. You have appetizers, tableside service, and it's by us. You know? But other this, than that, it's going to be great. <laughs> other I than that, it. it's going to be great. <laughs> nice, nice. You know, we are going to provide you invent memorabilia, a small token of our appreciation. We are going to have signature bartending, not by me, by someone else. And we are going to, as they say, love you up. It's an opportunity of a lifetime. Who wants us to, to wait on you? Come on, let's see it. And of course, a huge thank you out to Susan Crowley and Cherie Play for this item and their husbands who happen to be with us. Thank you. Thank you, thank Pat. You, thank you. Thank you. 
Our high bidder right now is going to be at ten fifty, one thousand fifty dollars, and that's Catherine Matterson. Woo! All right, Catherine. And again, we're going to give everybody a sec quick second to bid on this, and we're going to see if somebody else is going to jump in the lead. There Amy it is. Amy Price. Go, I'll wait Amy. On you. you know, let's make it happen. Who doesn't want to spend an evening with these amazing folks? And while we're watching the bidding, Amy's still in the lead. And we're going to wait for one more bid to come in. And I'm going to remind you, all of our auction items on the menu in the screen, this is like item number 905. So we're calling it item number five. But when you look at the menu, it's going to be item number 905. Really simple, but let's not make sure we let's make sure we find Jamie our items. Harman, I don't want anybody to miss out. Jamie Harmon, 1250. Nice. Go, Jamie. All right. Amy. Not Amy's taking right back that. at him. That's what we're talking uh -uh. about. That's right. And Woo. here we go. Our next category of items is going to be for our snowbirds and sun seekers. You know, who, who are we kidding? We just want to get out. <laughs> Snow, sun, we just want to get out. Item number six, fun in the sun, the Sayulita sun. All right. This is a six-day, five-night beach town Sayulita. Many folks have been there. It's beautiful. It's quaint. It's excellent. It's for five to 10 guests at Casa Katrina Exquisite Villa. It, with one acre of jungle setting, steps from the- The, the never crowded beach on the north end of Sayulita. It's an amazing beach. The, it's, the beach is really popular with tourists and the southern end of the beach tends to get very crowded. But the north end, there's just not as much going on up there. And so you're gonna have much more space on that beach and it's gorgeous. And this fully stocked kitchen. And what about those terraces? Have you seen those terraces? multi-levered terraces plus an opportunity to utilize their staff to cook the meals for you and help provide the best opportunity of a dream vacation yeah thank you the tray to the tray living family let's see the bids here it is two thousand three hundred fifty dollars to tim, tim right Shufle, now is our lead bidder all right all right, all right. And, of course, like we said, you've got the full-time maid and the gardener, and they're available to help with errands, meal prep, whatever you want, having people waiting on you hand and foot, checking out that gorgeous beach or the one-acre jungle around you. Tim's still the lead bidder at $23.50, but this is an amazing item that's worth a bunch more. Our next bid is going to be at $25.50. Let's get another bid in here. We're going to refresh that and see where we're at. Oh, no, we're moving on to our next item. All here right. we go. Item number seven, Arizona Oasis Vacation. Six days, five nights, four bedroom, two and a half bath, a beautiful North Phoenix desert, private heated pool, a jetted spa, gas fire pit, fire pit, <laughs> fire pit. I don't know what's going to be happening <laughs> after all those beers, but it, it's a fire pit. And with a barbecue, uh, the cooling, <laughs> cooling misters, you know, a beautiful wooden bar. It's an opportunity of a lifetime. You know, you got to love live TV, right? We love you, Pat. Thank you, Tim and Becky Choufle. What a wonderful opportunity. And this, of course, is our Arizona Oasis vacation. And you didn't even mention the bikes. There's four bikes there for you to guys take out for a ride. And if you're really nice, bring them back. They would love that if you did. <laughs> I just saw that Shay Cochran <laughs> at 1550. Thank you, Shay. Thank you, Thank Shay. You. Here we go. Our next item is going to be item number eight, Hacienda de De Lorenzo. Uh, this is a one week Mexico Riviera Narit, three bedroom, three and a half bath. It sleeps six comfortably. There's two terraces, and it's located in the little town of Lo de Marcos. And it's quaint, it's relaxing, it's one and a half blocks from the beach. You're an hour north of Puerto Vallarta. Thank you. Oh, well, just before this, it's an opportunity, again, to get out. <laughs> you know, really, does it matter where it's at? It's an opportunity to get out. Six people getting out somewhere else, different four walls, you know? Oh, my goodness. Anywhere where I'm not having to wear a raincoat. I hear that. Thank it's been you. it's been a hard winter with all the rain, but North Co or uh, Mexico here, it's going to be gorgeous weather. You're going to have so gorgeous. much fun. All right, thank you, Bob and Angelica Di Lorenzo. 
Thank you so much. And our winning bidder right now is John Harkins at $750. And, John, I got to tell you, I love you. I think you're an amazing person. I do not want you to win this item right now. Not at $750. Somebody help me out here. Come on, Let's Julie. bid him up. Let's make him pay twice that Come for this. Come on, Winter. It's for the children. Here we go. All right. Item number nine, south of the border in Cabo San Lucas. It's a week Cabo. long for four guests, a spacious one-bedroom suite in Cabo Villa's beach resort and spa, heart of Cabo. It's ideal for an entire family or a romantic getaway. You're just down the street from the live market. You're just near the beach. It includes four VIP, VIP cards that you can use for restaurants and other activities. There's horseback riding, snorkeling. There's opportunities to get out. Yeah! Get out! That's right. All right. There's 18 golf courses near there. That is a lot of golf. That is a lot of golf. How about you? Are you a golfer? Not a good one. Yeah, no. Yeah, that about sums me up, too. If I hit the green, it doesn't matter which green. As long as I hit one of them, I'm thinking I'm happy. Well, I'm not going to be playing golf on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Hitting the green. Okay, moving on. <laughs> All right. That was terrible <laughs> i'm here all night whether i like it or not all right all right where, where are we at with the bidding on the cabo oh we forgot to check our bidding 950 dollars is our top bid oh don't let liz get it for that no no come on we Next love one. you liz he loves you we just want you to pay more money yeah that's easy <laughs> i love you but it's for the kids it's for the kids <laughs> that's incredible Thank you. I've been working on those puppy dog eyes a long time. All right, item number 10. It's always <laughs> sunny in Suncadia. This is three nights, a three bedroom, two and a half bath, sleeps 10. Fitness in the pool facilities are included. You, in summertime, you have golf, you have hiking, biking. In the winter, you have ice skating, snow tubing, snowshoeing, snowmobiling. You know, if you want to be really brave, do the skiing and the snowmobiling in the summer and the swimming in the winter. That's gonna be a hard ski, yes. It will be challenging, but we are the Incredibles. This is true, that's right, all right. Thank you, Scott and Amy Price, much appreciation. Thank you for that donation. And we're doing awesome. This is our item number, I lost track. What item are we on? We're on item number 10. That is our Always Sunny in Suncadia. We got a lot of bidding going on that, and we're gonna move on to our next item. Oh. This is our Pacific Northwest Beachcomber section. Now we're talking about Pacific Northwest. We're still getting outdoors, and we're checking out the gorgeousness around us here. All right, item number 11, just another day at the beach. This is a four nights in a modern home next to Cape Disappointment, just, just south, south of here, if you haven't been there, one of the more beautiful places. It's near Long Beach, Cannon Beach, Astoria. It's a great jump off point to many, many things. But once you've landed there, it's incredible. You're, well, <laughs> now that I say that, it is pretty incredible. It is. It's, I, it's a I really, really incredible say, place. Don't use the driftwood for, for anything other than just looking at the driftwood. There wouldn't be a story behind that, would there? Uh, a few people know it, but we're just gonna move on. But there's. <laughs> There's beach combing, there's seal watching, there are hikes. It is a beautiful place. You know, we thank the Wachter family. I can't wait to visit you there. And this is such an amazing item. I think we even forgot to mention the $250 Whole Foods gift cards that comes with it. And they tell us that pets are negotiable. And I'm not quite sure what that means. I think that means you get to negotiate with them as to whether or not you get a pet. Like, yeah. like you're, you're bidding on the pets with it. I hope that's what it means. That would be awesome. Our top bidder right now is at $1,100, and that's Don. Thank you so much. Thank you, Don. Thank you, Don. Woo! All right, all right. Item number st 12, stay at Delano Bay and paddleboard. So you're getting a paddleboard, and you have uh, six nights, four days, in a three-bedroom with a sleeping loft, two bath. It sleeps six to eight. Your staycation, another opportunity to get out. You're 45 minutes away. There's clamming. You can hunt for oy oysters, paddle boat, and you can stand up paddleboard, and you own the paddleboard. There is everything that you need. 
you need the pump, and it's an electric pump, not one of those said pumps. It's an electric <laughs> pump. You get the life vest. You get a, a little cooler for your liquid refreshments. Thank you, Chris and Doreen and Cherie Pillay. And Thank the you, and Cherie. The and the Cratleys. Thank you guys here. And, of All course, right. you own that paddleboard because it's one of the pretty things that you get with this one amazing item. You get that awesome paddleboard, and our top bidder right now is at $1,500. That is Jamie Harmontree. Hammetree. All right. Thank you, Jamie. Hey, Austin. Yes. I got a little idea. Let's go back to the dinner and see where we're at with that. I would love to, but we are running a little long on time right here. It said it in the thing. It said it in the thing. We're going to go back to the dinner. It says go back to the dinner. I, I'm just doing what <laughs> Did I mention it's live TV? Oh, we're having so much fun. So go back to the dinner. Let's see where the dinner's at. Well, it says it's over $10,000. So we just That's a lot see. of money. Oh, no, come on. This is amazing. And it is amazing opportunity. That sounds like a gorgeous dinner. I've totally lost track. Are we still on this item? What item are we on? 13. We already... Extended stay. No, this is a new one. This is a new three. one. Yes. Another one. And you know what? We doubled it. There's two <laughs> paddle boards. So item number 13, extended stay in Paul's Bow. It's over a three-day weekend. You relax in the Puget Sound. There's a main house with three guest houses, sleeps 14 people, and as many kids as you can stuff into those bunk houses. <laughs> it has water access. It has six kayaks. I mean, kids are flexible. 14 total is really just kind of a ballpark number. I bet you stack them on top of each other, you get 30 in there easy. You know, there's a fire pit, beach access, 30. It's, it's really 40. I was there during the eighth grade retreat, my daughter's eighth grade year, and it was an amazing, blessed opportunity. We had mass. Father David had mass. We looked out, and, and there was the Puget Sound. We had a beautiful dog, and it was fitting for our kids. This is an opportunity to recreate that for yourselves, a relaxing opportunity for not just your family, but your extended family, maybe your pod, to just get out. Yes. All right. All right. So thank you, O'Reilly fam family. Thank you, Beth. Thank, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Gorgeous place. And don't forget those two paddle boats. Our top bid right now is $1,900 to Mary Ellen. Thank oh. you. Hey. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Way to go, Mary there Ellen. There it is. Patrick, I see you're down to $1,300. As soon as we get a chance, you got to get off the bid on that. You're yeah, losing. Hurry up. Yeah. You're falling behind. That's okay. Okay. We know how to play this. All right. <laughs> Item 14, Destination Packwood Weekend. Three nights, eight guests at the beautiful... 104 Trails End, centrally located in downtown Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, Mount Adams. It's near all of those things. It's a remote cabin, with small town charm. There's hiking, hunting, fishing, bird watching. At the trail ends, you can choose from multiple nearby lakes. There's all kinds of opportunities to get out. Thank you, Tim Duggan and Amy Young. Thank you. And of course, it's 104 trail ends because there's 104 different trails in the area. It's just an amazing area to go hiking. I was there last summer myself. You're going to have so much fun. Our top bid right now is $900. Thank you, Mrs. James Singer. Jamie right. Singer. Thank you, Jamie Singer. Come on, Chris. I'll go with you. All right. Item number 15, Suncadia Condo. Suncadia Condo. It sleeps four for two nights. It's a beautiful lodge studio at Suncadia Lodge. You have a king bed, a pull-out queen, a galley kitchen, access to the concierge so they can help with everything you need. There's an on-site bar, coffee shop, full services, spa, outdoor pool, hot tub. You can use it in the summer and the winter. Just get out. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Mason and Kristen Phelps. <laughs> There we go, Suncadia near Clay Elm. Gorgeous any time of year. And our top bid right now is $550 for Jessica Fierst. All right. Thank you, Jessica. All right. Item number 16, Packwood Cabin Family Getaway. Three nights, four bedroom, two bath, custom cabin, close to the White Pass and Mount Rainier. There's a wood stove, fire pit. There's kids accessories or no kids and you, it's just a romantic place to get out but you're on five acres you're by a creek it's serene you have wildlife you know it comes with it comes with the portable cooler i thought i was here all right i'm looking for something that's not here it comes with a cooler and a 50 dollars fred meyer gift certificate to put into the cooler all right thank or you even better you can use the gift card to buy stuff to put into the cooler well that would be good too 
Because I, I, I don't really see the gift cards don't need to be kept cold, at least not the ones I've ever gotten. This is true. This is true. Not Thank saying you. you can't use it for that purpose. I'm not judging. No judgment here. <laughs> that would be incredible. <laughs> Thank you, Cassetta family. <laughs> Our top bidder right now is uh, <laughs> is Julie. Why, donate it? Why not buy it? That's Julie right. Julie Cassetta. Thank you. Yes. She's buying back her own item That's right now. It. She's $1,100. Somebody help us out. Let's take that item away from her. It's gorgeous. That's how awesome it is. She knows how awesome it is. She's That's bidding right. on it. All right. Thank you so much. And our final category of items tonight, for those of you who are staying home, we've got our treat yourself section. These are all amazing items for you to use at home to pamper, primp, and to treat yourself. All right, our first item is item 17, the James White custom handcrafted guitar. It's right behind me, there it is. It is beautiful. I played it a little e earlier. It is a one of one of a kind. There it is. There you go. Oh, look, we're up. There we go. I'm getting out of the way. There it is. One of a kind classical guitar. Uh, it comes with three one half hour sessions. Uh, these this guitar is beautiful and you can get three sessions of guitar lessons. It is amazing. It really is amazing. And when we say custom, this is a handcrafted custom one of a kind guitar. This is an $8,000 guitar. This is not one you're going to want to let the kids play with. My kid actually just started playing guitar. We did not buy him an $8,000 that, guitar. I'm a terrible guitar. parent. I don't know what to say. But thank you again to Jim and Jamie Pierce and, of course, Travis Gore for the, uh, for the guitar lessons. Did you know he's the double bass for the Seattle Symphony? This guy knows what he's doing. Nice. I didn't know they had guitar in the, in the Seattle Symphony. Well, it looks like our higher, highest bidder is Kathy Forte, and it looks like she's going to tuck you into bed with the quilt and sing you a lullaby. There we go. Yeah. Way to go, Kathy. All right. We've all heard her voice. Don't let her get it. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Kidding, kidding, kidding. All right, moving on, though. Item number 18, the man cave to the max. Woo! All right, we have a Viper Solar Blast electronic dartboard, a Toshiba 32-inch smart team, voice controlled by, hey, turn on my favorite show, Alexa. Yeah, all right, you know. This is an opportunity to have your own man cave. It also comes with a bottle of Crown Royal and some Alec Brandley Kintsugi, Kintsugi guitar Kintsugi. cigars. Kintsugi Thank you for doing cigars. your homework. I did not. I did have to look them up. These are really cool cigars if you're into that sort of thing. All right. They're amazing. Right. Somebody at home is watching this and going, those are awesome, and they know what they're talking about, and they're going to love them because this is they are amazing cigars. Well, splurge on some wings, and you're all set. Thank you, Kyle Hughes and Justin Turbin, Turnips, Turnip Seed. Thank you, Justin, and thank you, Diego Wendt. And our top bid right now is Richard at $600. This is an amazing item. We're going to keep bidding on that one. We've still got a few minutes left. And i got to tell you, the first time we read through the script here, I saw get some wigs and you're all set. And I was like, wigs? What kind of party are we throwing? That's a nice man cave. I don't know. But the more... The <laughs> <laughs> it's a St. Pat's party. All right. That's the best kind. <laughs> they really are. All right, item number 19, the Ultralux Ladies Gift Basket. Silver graphy at home, faux fur, satin rose, silver. Um, there's a bottle of... Uh, We've got a bottle of Louis Roderero. Crystal! Crystal, a bottle of 2007. Crystal, some gorgeous things in a basket. An assortment of Naruto, or no, Natura... Uh, Skin to say skin stuff. Skin stuff. Everyone wants to look good. All right. Can you tell us two guys talking about girl stuff here? We don't yeah. know what we're talking about. Do not but know. I know these people do, and I know everybody else does, and we're having fun. This is an awesome item. Was there something else in it? The, the wonderful robe. Do we miss something here? Oh, yeah, oh, the oh. robe. The robe. It's gorgeous. Yes. Gorgeous robe. Yeah. There's two <laughs> sides. The way you said that worries me. Well, I, I just had a vision. You know, us maybe hanging out in Suncadia in a robes. We did well with the matching incredible uniforms. 
I could see that. There are two robes to choose from. There's two different sizes. That way you make sure you get the robe that fits you. And we can just take them both. We'll have both the robes, and we'll go down to Suncadia together. We're going to have some fun. I love it. Don't let us do that. <laughs> Bid on this, all right? <laughs> I don't know what our top bidder is at right now, but that is an amazing item. Oh, we're scrolling up. It's going to be $550 to Chris Bush. All right. You guys Thank are going to enjoy that. Hyde, Morris, and Alex, and Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, if you scroll up. Harmon, sorry. Jamie Harmon. Teleprompters. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it was me. It was me. All right. Item number 20, the Peloton bike and all the essentials. Together we go far. This is a new Peloton bike, and it is coming. It's ordered. It's the Essentials Package. It's a, you get the Peloton shoes with cleats. You get a pair of weights. You have a reversible workout mat, a 12-month warranty, and delivery in April. Delivery in April. Have you heard of such thing with that the Peloton? That is a big deal. These things are ordered out like a year past where you need them. I mean, if you ordered one now, it would take you a year to get it, but we've got it coming to you in less than a month. Well, I guess it's right about a month. Yeah. We'll rush that to your right to your house as soon as it shows up. And of course, we don't need one of these because we are incredible. Yes. But you're going to love this amazing item. And thank you to all the seventh grade parents who helped to put this together and their thank generous you, donations. Grade parents. They're the ones thank who made this bit, this item happen. Our top bid right now is thirty-one fifty, and Chris that's Chris Cradgen. Thank there you. There it is. Love you, man. Autumn, don't let him have it. And, of course, we've got a surprise last-minute item. If you've been checking on our items, you may have already seen it on here. This was not something that was included in the original catalog, but it came in at the last minute, and it was just so good we couldn't turn it down. We've all seen the, a few of the dinners. This is an exclusive dinner and an overnight at the lodge. Three couples, six guests, join Chris and Doreen Gavin. This is an exclusive dinner with a James Beard award-winning chef, Jason Wilson. All right. Jason. All right. You know, this is part on the this event is happening at the St. Edward State Park. This place used to be a seminary. Originally, it opened as St. Edward Seminary in 1930 and closed in 1976. Now it's a hotel, restaurant, spa, and fitness center. The winning bidder will have a wonderful dinner, an opportunity to engage with others, and enjoy the beautiful surroundings of this estate. Thank you, Kevin and Mary Daniels. I hope to see you there. Thank you. And, of course, if you haven't been to St. Andrews Park, it's like 20 acres, huge park with wonderful wooded areas to walk through. It's, it feels like you're in the middle of nowhere, even though you're in the middle of Kirkland and Kenmore area. And it's right there's white uh, paths that take you down to the water for a uh, secluded beach area. It's gorgeous. Everyone should visit there, even if you're not going for the, uh, the dinner party here. All right, all you know what? Right. Crash the dinner party. If you don't win the item, go to the dinner party anyway and crash it. We're going to have so much fun. Our top bidder right now is thirty eight fifty, and that is Amy. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Amy. All right, at 3850. And we told everybody we were going to talk about all these wonderful items, but they weren't going to close until the end of the night. Well, guess what? It's the end of the night. Oh. You mean you so don't get sad. to hang out with me anymore? Oh, who said we have to stop hanging out? I love the way you think. Here we go. Now we're going to start our five-minute countdown clock, and all of our items are closing in five minutes. So I know you've been bidding hot and heavy, but keep it up. We're down to four minutes and 55 seconds. Our two-star Michelin star farewell is our top bidder is still Kathy Forte at $12,550. Oh, $12, thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. Put in another bid right now. Somebody jump ahead of her on that item. Let's pull up another item and see where we're at. We're at four and a half minutes left. And we're pulling up more items. We're back. Oh, we didn't get another bid in on this one. Um, we're still checking our funding. We're going to get a total on that. I got to tell you, the dinners sound amazing. The uh, the Cabo San Luco, San Lucas. What was your favorite item so far? You know, the, the item that I will be winning. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the it, confidence. It, I, I think we're going for Salulita. I, I, I love that. Anywhere in Mexico, anywhere. I, I will go to your house. <laughs> Make a donation. I just want to get out. Really, I don't have a favorite item. I've been on a lot of them, but they are wonderful. And again, I know everyone wants to just get out. He's really secretly thinking about that that robe. It's just it's got him distracted. He wants to have well, that gray I do robe. Like the robe. Um, there's the guitar. And ladies and gentlemen, you know we still have our fund to need. We're at forty thousand two fifty. You know we are Thank just you. above halfway. We are just above half. And, of course, everything else is closing here in three minutes and 30 seconds, but that stays open all night, all tomorrow, and as long as it takes. 
We're getting back to our other items here. I got to say, one of the other items I liked was the VIP parking. I love yeah. that, having to wait in line to drop your kid off. It takes a big chunk out of your day. And like we said, it's, it's the first step on putting your kid through college and creating a great, a great life for them. And it's obvious Jeff really wants that. So. Yes, he does. Way to go, Jeff. Thirty-four fifty right now. You're our top bidder on that item. Nice Congratulations. Job. And it's going to be closing here in three minutes. Three minutes. All right. How about Arizona? I loved Arizona. It's a gorgeous place. It's hot in the summer, but they've got the cooling misters. They've got all the other cool stuff that goes they with it. Bikes. Uh, the bikes. That's the right. Cool, uh, you know, don't take the bikes home. Again. Don't take. <laughs> they would appreciate it if you left them there. Yes, but it's an opportunity to enjoy not only getting out but getting out to some sun. You know, we all know how that is. Absolutely. Well, I don't know that we do know what the sun is like. It's been so long since we've seen it. This is true. But today was. A I've heard wonderful day. stories from my parents about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's amazing. And we we still have these items like the quilt, the guitar. We do have the spa basket. We have. Where'd it go? That gorgeous quilt. Everybody's bidding on that. Yes. That quilt is an amazing item. All three kindergarten classes work together to create that. We've got the Principal Gavin on there. We also have Mrs. Wheeler. And was the, are the other two kindergarten teachers on here? Yep. Mrs. Larson and Mrs. Richards. So you're going to get their handprints, too. It's amazing. And more importantly, your kids are going to be growing up with all these other kids for the next five years, six years, seven years, eight years, staying together. They're going to be able to wave this in front of them that whole time and say, look what I got. It's awesome. <laughs> create, a, create a little competition early. That's, that's what we're asking yep. for you guys to do. We have one minute left, one minute and 35 seconds left. You know, keep bidding on those things. The dinner is going up, both dinners, and we have an opportunity. You guys have opportunity. I don't, I, I don't have any check my phone. But I did, I did put an effort in, as all of you will know. I, I tried my best. <laughs> I tried to stake some claims. I got a couple of phone calls. Kathy Bethke, you know, bring it on. I don't see your name yet. I, I, I back down off the trips, you know. And we've got the Peloton bike. That's an amazing item. Again, like I said, we're incredible. We don't need that. It is an incredible item. We're down to one minute left, and we're getting close to our end here. But we've got the Peloton bike. We've got the man cave with the TV that you just talked to, and it does what you want. I love TVs that I can talk to. Well, I mean, I always talk to my TV. I'm always yelling at it. But now it's going to do something when I do that. That's pretty cool. We have the, the Packwood family getaway, that amazing cabin in the middle of the woods. I think it's on something like five acres. I think at least ten people can go. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. We're kind of strolling through items here and looking to see else what we have. We're down to 30 seconds. Here Come we go. On, let's the go. The Suncadia condo. All right. And we have the Paul's Bow seconds. Retreat. The Paul's Bow Retreat. Remember, Paul's Bow. Thank you, Amit and Beth O'Reilly. The Destination Packwood Weekend. We talked about that one. Here we go. 11 seconds. 10, 9, Nine eight, 8, 7, 6, 6 5, 4, 3, 2, 2 1. one. Close! Thank That's you, it, ladies folks. And gentlemen, thank you for all your support. Thank you to all our sponsors. And we are currently, and again, as Austin was saying, the funding item is, is we're looking forward to that. But we're at 44400 Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. you, thank you. And now, of course, our live items are almost live and our Kloss projects, they are all done. They're closed for the night. We congratulate all of our amazing winners and everybody who helped make the night possible. Thank you. And Thank to you. all our winners, give Winter a call or let her or let, just know she is here tomorrow to help you pick up your items. So come on by tomorrow and pick those items up. And now it's time to close out our show with Principal Chris Gavin. Come on up, Chris. He's getting his mic ready, and while they're doing that, I got to tell you, their, their costumes are amazing. I love this. Thank you, Chris. Hi, friends. Wherever you are, please just give a round of applause to Austin and Pat for their emceeing. The, the gym is pretty empty, and that's, uh, this is the second year in a row. 
but our hearts are full. Our hearts are full of gratitude for the amazing work that everyone has done to put this together. The generosity of all of you, whether you made a donation or you bid things up, uh, whether you gave to fund an item, all those things just made this so successful. So thank you so much for, <laughs> I'm being told, yeah, I'm looking you. Okay, sorry. This is live. <laughs> and I'm blinded by the lights. Uh, but it has just been a remarkable, remarkable auction. We have reached for the stars and we have touched them. Thank you all so much to Christy and Winter, but especially, but especially the two Wonder Woman that I would like to bring to Sherry and Susan. Please stand up wherever you are and join me in thanking them so much. Thank you. Thank you. No. So that's a wrap. <laughs> It's my last one, and we did it great. Thank you. St. Patrick, pray for us.